Welcome everyone to this quick tutorial on how to operate the machine defender, create machine, uh, connect the, the machine to the cloud, sync it, and navigate through the web portal so you can manage your different assets and this create uh, work orders. So let's get into it. So the first step will be to um, go into your options here. And I don't have the option, but you should have, w once you connected the Wi-Fi, uh, the wireless sensor to your tablet or, s or cell phone, you should be able to um, push a license key that will unlock the uh, all the possibility of your uh, machine defender. So this is where you would go inside the, the option. Uh, our next step will be to create a machine. So you need to click on this icon here. It will ask you for the motor HP. So you can write it to whatever HP your motor is. So 250 HP here, validate. Uh, what's the running RPM? So let's say it's 1785. You can use a strobe light to uh, find the speed or a tachometer or uh, anything that you want. Uh, here it's the different mounting of your motor. Is it a rigid or flexible mounting? So flexible is normally uh, when uh, the, more, the, the machine is in a flexible state, so either on spring or on vibration pads or something like that. Uh, pretty much everything else is a rigid mounting. Uh, what type of uh, reduction do you have? So do you have belts, pulleys, gearbox, and multi-stage gearbox between the uh, electric motor and um, uh, the, f the fan, the pump. So let's select um, here uh, uh, belt and pulleys. Uh, it will ask you for the ratio. So you can calculate the ratio by using a strobe light, taking the uh, speed of the fan and divided by the speed of the motor. That should give you uh, reduction or multiplication here I am I, I'm half so 0.5 so it will take my input speed uh, multiply it by half so it will give me half that speed so this would be my fan or pump speed so validate and then you, you use uh, the type of um, equipment that you, the component that you have as a driven equipment so here you have pumps uh, between bearing pumps, overhung pumps, uh, this is overhung, between bearing, overhung fans, between bearing fans, generators, low compressors, uh, rollers, uh, jack shaft, uh, etc. So let's take uh, overhung pump, name your machine, so pump one, two, three. You can take a picture of the, of your, um, of your machine here, uh, of your equipment, sorry. So it will be, you'll be able to uh, print, it will be in the report, let's say. So validate. That will create your machine. And then you need to take four different readings. Uh, you select your first point, so motor non-drive in. And here you can set the way your sensor is pos positioned on the bearing. Uh, always put the sensor as close as possible to the bearing in the load zone and never on something that will resonate uh, like the fan cover or uh, some guards. So here my x-axis which is the logo on the sensor on the wireless sensor is parallel to the motor shaft so it, it, is, fa it, it is parallel to the shaft. Uh, so I select this one here and I take re vibration readings. Uh, these are simulated values, so I will get uh, random vibration value from uh, the computer. And then you do exactly the same thing for the four different positions. All right. Let finish this and you can change of course the bearing position depending of where you placed your sensor uh, not the bearing sorry the sensor orientation depending of how you placed it on each of the four bearings and lastly here okay. 
So once 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 the this uh, measurement will be completed, we'll be able to get an auto diagnosis. So I can click the green uh, icon here, and that should give me. Oh, it tells me that the speed is not right. Of course, these are random values. So uh, yeah, of course the speed is not right. Uh, normally you won't have that error. Anyway, I want to show the diagnosis anyway. So here's the diagnosis from the machine. So alignment problem, the severity and the confidence level on its own diagnosis. You have some recommendation below for each of different problems. If you want, you can press PDF and that will uh, print the, the PDF, but print, save the PDF. Uh, I'm on my computer right now, so it saved it on my computer. I can take a look at the report. You have all your machine information here, machine picture. So if, if I took a picture with uh, the camera, it would show here and the diagnosis and uh, the recommendation for each point and the vibration value for each position and each axis. So this is a standard report. All right, so let's go back on the main screen. I will show you how to connect your data to the cloud. Here I'm connected with uh, Natalie's uh, account, but I will change that account. So uh, someone from ACOM or from STCD should have gave you uh, these inf this information to connect. So first you start with your domain, ours is STCD. And after that, you uh, write your uh, username. So mine is customer1. I enter the password, which is a little bit complicated for nothing. Uh, the cloud uh, URL, so this is where uh, the, 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 the data will go. This is the, name, the, the address of the server. Uh, the Aquam server by default is ai.aquam.com, uh, Homo uh, 9083, this is a port. And you need to uh, check HTTPS because the data is encrypted and you validate and that should connect. There you go. If I go in my asset management here in this icon, I will see my pump one, two, three and I will be able to send it to the cloud. So I select it and I click the little icon here, the uh, cloud icon and send it. And this uploads my data to the cloud. All right, so the data is gone from my machine defender. I will close my machine defender for now. Let's exit and close it down. Let me open quickly. A web page, I connect to ai.acoam.com, click enter, and then you can enter your own username. So mine is customer1, password, copy and paste, login, and that will bring you in your uh, space, in your database. So you will see uh, very quickly that on top here you have a one, uh, like a notification next to the, li the, the little engine. If you click on it, it means that one of the machine is in the inbox. It needs to be placed where it should in the database. Uh, here on my database is empty. So here on the left is my database and the machine defender trial one. If I click plus, I can create a new location. So let's say this is the pump house. And if I select pump house, I, uh, if, if I, sorry, if I select the pump one to three, I should be able to drag and drop it inside my pump house and I can save the asset. Now the asset is uh, available here in my database. So if I click on pump one, two, three, I have access to the image that was either taken from the uh, camera I think I can change it from here as well. So let me upload an image. Uh, pump, 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 pump. Uh, let's. There we go. So this is my new pump image. I can place the uh, bearing point where they should. So bearing one, two, uh, three, and four. Let's go save that. All right, and go back. Uh, here. So now I should have my new pump. 
you have your diagnosis and recommendation here from the uh, auto diagnosis. You can click on vibration here, this little uh, icon, and you have the vibration reading that you can trend in time. So if you have, if you have more than one measurement, you can select any of those values of so velocity, acceleration, uh, defect factor, overall peak to peak, etc. Select it, and you it would show the trend if I had more data, more than one, uh, one more than one date. And that, that that's pretty much what you can do here. Then the last thing you can do is from here you can s create work orders. So I can create a work order, so I need a vibration check. So you can change the work order name for a critical pump, whatever the name is. You can uh, click, uh, put a, a description of that, when it is due. So let's uh, put it for, this is next month, sure. And it will send it to which, um, which user in your, uh, your, 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 your database. So here it's customer one and uh, pump one that's for sure you can add more asset here in that work order so you can do more than only one reading can say a pump a multiple pumps for example if you had more than one and if you send that uh, that work order is saved so it should be sent automatically to uh, the machine defender so if i go back in my machine defender and i click on the little uh, uh, equipment management and if I sync the cloud I should have a new let's see work order uh, that is due uh, the next month and I have pump one two three and I can take the readings and there you go I would be able to retake the reading re-upload the data and trend it over time all right uh, hopefully that was uh, uh, helpful for you guys uh, if you have any question, feel free to uh, ask us and we will uh, uh, help you find your way around this, the software. Have a great day.